Hello guys, this is Chessmaster Stream, and today I'm looking to play a 5 minute blitz game. So, we are playing white pieces up against uh, Mr. Uh, Trulls from USA, so Sicilian Defense. Uh, let's try Alpin Variation. So I don't know what's the top move, but let's uh, go get that center, guys. Alright, at this point uh, I feel like I could just... Uh, push this guy or maybe just defend you know what let's go ahead and defend so we will have a nice center I don't want to see queen check but then I'm gonna block with the bishop so I can also yeah let's develop the knights first knights before bishops remember that guys okay unpin Alright, let's let's get this bishop in the game because I need to develop the knight in order to castle. Okay. So if they ever take, I'm gonna take back with the knight. Alright, so they're putting some pressure. Maybe this will follow. Yeah, as always. Typical beginner's moves. Alright. I'm gonna castle now, so this guy is pinned. I have to be careful now. So if I'm gonna take it back, it does not look too good. But okay, well they will take it with the queen, I don't mind. So, I can just avoid the check here. Not a big deal, right? So, they will attack this guy. But first queen sting. Okay, let's trade. Uh, well, let's take with... Okay, it actually doesn't really matter. I wanted to put the rook on C file, but... Turns out this uh, file is also opening, so if file is opened for our rook. So maybe a rook lift here. Somewhere on these squares would be nice, you know. Um, let's make some place here for my bishop. Usually they're going to play uh, the pawn to a4 anyways. I don't know why, but a lot of players do that. They think like it's a move with the tempo, but you know, my bishop is still on the nice diagonal. Once this guy moves, yeah, see, I told you, they're still playing that a4. Once this guy moves, I can get the rook in. So first maybe let's pin that knight and block this pawn so bishop does not see the daylight. So that's quite nice move, so... Let's go ahead and put the rook on a 7th rank. Yeah, now we can just go ahead and do something tricky here because of this they will take out my bishop but I can first take all the pawns with a check and then I'm gonna recapture the bishop actually it's gonna be checkmate ah no it's not okay let's let's take all the pawns with the check so I said it's gonna be checkmate because of this bishop check but they can just take it out so can I do another check first? And then let's take this guy. So I need to get my bishop activated. So once this rook leaves uh, the e8 square, I could just try out a checkmate. So we're up two pounds. If we, we get down to end game, I think I can still take the W. So let's let's give a little check a Ruski once again. So that king shuffles around. I can also go ahead and trade down the rooks because you know back rank checkmates are never nice. Okay, so they still want to go for that. Okay, I, I, I'm just gonna put the rook. Up, I'll just put the king up. Once they will give me a check, they will try to get this pawn. I'm gonna go ahead and attack that bishop. We'll see where will that guy that guy wants to go. So I think now they have to trade the rooks, otherwise it's it's not gonna look too good for them. And I'm also gonna get this guy.
hitting the bishop. Bishop has to move. So maybe a check. Another check. Alright, at this point I think I should get my king in the game. So they're looking for some trades. Okay, let's let's take out that guy. So king cannot uh, go further away. So I think they need to activate the rook now, but I'm gonna take this guy then. So we are plus three, so if I can manage to trade down the rooks, should be an easily winning game for us. Yeah, yeah, well, they give up, because uh, after the rooks are off the board, um, I can hold these guys, but they cannot hold our pawns, especially those two guys. They would become a future queens. So, a nice win for us against Mr. Trolls from USA. I hope you guys uh, liked this video, so feel free to leave comments below if you have any questions. And if you feel like struggling at this rating level, let me know what's your weaknesses. So, for me, it really helps that I do a lot of chess puzzles. At the Elite Chess, once I was rated uh, at 2300, you know, after a, a big, bigger pause, uh, I dropped down to like 2100, but uh, still those puzzles are super complicated, and uh, at uh, this rating level, that helps a lot, you know. Also, I prefer open positions, because in a closed positions, I cannot do so well. I don't know why, maybe because my positional play is not that advanced as my tactical thinking and calculation skill. So there is a lot of differences, th th that is uh, one of the reasons why I prefer to play open positions, more active, you know, so I see that sharp moves much more uh, faster instead of those quiet passive positional moves. Uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed guys and see you at the next video.